Hey guys, um, this is another layout update and rolling stock update. Uh, so as you can see, there's lots of changes that have happened in the last month or so, month or two, I guess. Um, a lot of these buildings on the layout right now, except for those three are my are uh, off my grandpa's old layout and we just took them out of the boxes and stuff just to like this this is like one percent of all the buildings that that uh we sell at that my grandma salvaged off of my grandpa's old layout um so we have plenty of buildings so this is just one box uh, so we're basically just taking everything out and seeing what we have and everything like there's a bunch of yard towers like that there's one there and there's a another one over there so those will definitely be in those spots um, there's this really cool freight station that needs to be dusted off so I got all my truck trailers parked there with you know the loading dock and the box car there this will be a uh, I'm going to, I'm deciding not, I'm not going to make this in normal yard. This will be a, uh, um, like a, just a regular freight yard. So, uh, so that's why I ballasted it. And, uh, speaking of ballast, all, I ballasted all the yard. I just finished cleaning off all the track today. I ballasted that little spot there. The spot between the switches, all of this, and all the back has now been ballasted. Um, that might be a word for the town that will be here. There's going to be a, a main street going down the middle like that. So there'll be a, there'll probably there there will probably be a crossing there, and then one over here. And then it'll like the road will curve and it'll go over that and then continue off back there, whatever. Um, and then, so yeah. And then, I don't know, uh, I don't know if you can make a road crossing with ballast on it, but uh, and then we might make another road going back towards the tracks like that. And then go and then have a road crossing there or have a a road just going back around and hooking back up to the main road and uh, that'll be field and like a farm or whatever and it's still in the drawing books sometime this week before we leave on vacation um, I'm gonna we're gonna me and my dad are gonna set sit down and draw plans and stuff um, one of my engines there, GP38-2. Uh, I guess I'll start with my new rolling stock that isn't it's super new anymore. Uh, I got these two I got these cars, the two cars from my uh, graduation since I graduated this year, and I'm gonna be going to high school next year at Walkerville. But, um, so basically, first off is this. Uh, Oh well, in the, my last lit update video with uh, with my new engine, these are the cars that I was talking about. So I got this three car set. Uh, this three, this uh, what do you call it? A try something? I don't know. But uh, this three set well, these three car well car set um, of it's a pacer stack. They're pacer stack train well cars and three footers so I can run my bigger containers in them uh, so yeah those are cool They're, those are Kato and then I got green hopper uh, CSX so Chris really, Chris will really like Chris really likes it uh, with their new logo so and their new slogan or whatever so and that's really nice that's an Athern um, it's a really nice. It's really nice. Like the all these, car, both of these cars are really nice. They're very well detailed and everything. And that's one of my grandpa's old switchers. I'll probably be switching this yard and assist with that 
engine. Um, right now, the piece of the it's, this engine's probably like 50 years old. Uh, piece of the gas tank broke off. Like uh, I didn't even notice. Like I put it on the tracks, and just the gas tank fell off. So I gotta glue that back together, and eventually I'll put handrails on it. Uh, but yeah, roundhouse. There's a. There it is. Just like a little. Uh, maintenance building or whatever, and another maintenance shed, and that'll definitely be there probably. Um, you know, make it look like it's an old water, like it's a, like this used to have like steam engines or whatever, and it's a, like an old water tower. Um, and then there's a bunch of these like west, old, like old western type buildings. Um, so we don't know if we're gonna make sort of like well, and everyone in this in my area. Where I live, and has heard of the Henry Ford Museum and Greenfield Village. And Greenfield Village, they have old Western, well, just old buildings like that. And and they have Model Ts driving around, and they have a uh, an old steam engine with like little like little excursion train going around. It's sort of like an old. It's sort of like a uh, like a little here. It's like, okay. It's sort of like a, um, like a, an old, like, it's an old, it's like a village that is some, um, that, ugh. it's sort of like a, uh, um, oh, what, what's it called, uh, like a, a pioneer village, it's sort of like an old pioneer village, sort of, and you know, you walk around it and it's sort of like they got like blacksmiths making like hooks or whatever. But uh, what we're thinking of doing is building one of those, uh, like making one of those over there somewhere or adding on, or like adding a, adding on to this layout, which will probably be done at some point, and uh, get like another building or whatever and you know we have a couple really old steam engines that don't work anymore and just set a couple steam engines on tracks and on display and make put trees up and make look like a little park or whatever sort of like a heritage village in Kingsville with a transportation museum actually no it's not Kingsville oh, whatever where the transportation museum is but uh so that should that would be cool um and we we're also thinking about making like a car show, or whatever, through there. So that's why I got some older cars sitting there. And uh, so yeah, um, yeah, I gotta do a the train club layout update because there's lots of new scenery that has that have been added or that has been added to it. Um, I don't know if any. I don't know if I have gotten any shots of it, but on the one part of the layout where the uh, grade is going up, but it's not where. Like I know I have videos that it looks like it's like a little ditch or whatever that the trains are going across. It's on the other side of that where the grade goes down or up. If you're going the other way, uh, there's like a tunnel or whatever that I think I've gotten shots of it before where it's just plaster or whatever. But now that's all full of trees and it's got grass and stuff on it. And, and, uh, you know, there's more track that's been ballasted, and, uh, more track has been laid on the branch line, so, yeah, it's that, our club layout is coming along, um, the end scale modelers had to rip, rip up a whole, a, a whole section, because, uh, yeah, um, the turn didn't fit or whatever, like, it, the turn was really bad, and, uh, and they also they have to build stair because that's where the that's where one of the emergency window exit things are, so they have to build um, a stairway. Well, the stairway is built, but they gotta fit it so that it goes. So it's sort of it's gonna be like a stairway tunnel or whatever where the trains are gonna go underneath the stairway, so that you can get up to the emergency window if there's a fire or whatever down there. Um, so they had, they had to rip up all that and they're redoing all the bench work and stuff right now so the end scale wheel is not running at all but uh 
I don't know, I might get an end scale too. I might buy an engine, some cars or whatever and run them at the club, but not right now. HO is HO is my favorite scale. And uh I don't know if I've done a video of all this working yet, but I think I have, but uh that turntable is all wired and everything well not that. But those tracks in there those six tracks in there are all wired and uh they're working I can get my Bowser up and running there. The track is that too. My Alco C6 a C630. C C six thirty, that's what it's called. So yeah, that's in the Pac-Man scheme. I can't it sucks up too it sucks up too much power for it to actually move on my layout. It's cause it's my layout's DC and that's DCC. But it's it sucks up so much power that like that's maxed out right there at full and it's still not moving. So So yeah. Oh well. Yeah, so, uh, probably the next step will be getting buildings where they should be and getting little, like, pencil markings of where the roads are, and, uh, I found a video that Woodland Scenics put on YouTube on how to create realistic roads and parking lots and stuff. I favorited it, so you can just look through my favorited videos, and it's very cool, so I gotta show that to my dad, and, uh, see if that's how we'll build our roads and stuff but uh it's like you take like a powder or whatever and mix it with water and then pour it into like a little mold that you make and then smooth it out and paint it black and it looks like a road but, so yeah this has been another boring layout update video by cp winter sub um yes thank you for watching have a good day